Greetings gamers and welcome to my playthrough of Megatropolis. Let's start by showing you the setup for my map. Uh, we're starting in 1850. We are going to start on easy. There are many aims to this playthrough, but uh, making it even harder for myself is not one of them. It's going to be tricky enough when you see the aims that I have in mind. Let's take a look at the mods. I've got lots of mods installed and there'll be many more coming throughout the season. But to start the game, we want a few mods that will liven up the 1850 period. Um, as you know, with the standard game, you only get a couple of uh, early steam trains. So I've added a few in. Uh, quick tip of the day, if you type enabled here, uh, or something shorter than that, you can see these are the enabled mods. Let's have a quick run through of some of these and a shout out to the awesome mod creators who have spent many, many hours creating these wonderful mods for us to use. So starting at the top from M4, we have an early mogul, which we'll be taking a look at. We have a steam train pack from Riolith. Uh, there's a number of different models in there and repaints. We've got a fictional British steam train. We've got the urban games uh, curved train stations. Now I know there's many, many other train stations uh, out there that are, have the curved option. But just for now, at the start, we'll start with the, the standard urban games one. We'll move into the others as we progress through the playthrough. Uh, early rail pack from uh, M4 as well. Got some extra wagons. Flat terrain, this is great for making raised bridges. There's quite a lot of bridges on the map, as you'll see. So that's going to come in handy. GWR coaches, 1850 coaches. Uh, some extra ones there for us to take a look at that are not the standard uh, wagons or coaches that you get. Horse repaints, as you know, we will start off with a few horses, but they're all brown in this repaints pack. Uh, you've got black horses and grey horses. We've got the KEB2 and the KEB4. They both arrive in 1869. So if I've progressed far enough at that stage, we'll be able to take a look at those as well. Always recommend the left, right cargo harbour. Uh, very, very useful, especially on the map you're about to see. Reduce the smoke density a bit, uh, especially with these early steam trains. We've got a variety pack, again, with some more US locomotives. Increase the vegetation, of course. Look, the map looks much, much better with those extra trees and bushes on it. And finally, we've got the Z Production Increase mod. Now, this increases the top end of the production from 1600 to 3200, uh, and then up to 1200, 12,800. It would help if I knew my maths. Uh, so that will come in handy as well through this game. So that's the mods I'm using. Let's take a quick look at the setup I've gone for. So we're going to use all vehicles. Uh, a lot of these mods, some are American, some are Brit uh, British, some are European, some are Eastern European. So I thought we'll have all vehicles. Buildings I want American because I love the later skyscrapers and much of this game will be set in the later period. Streets, environment and scenario. Europe uh, I do like and the European terrain. I do like the green terrain rather than the brown American one. Town names will be naming our own towns, so that's okay. And we'll take all the trees that they have to offer. So that's our our setup. Let's go back and let's get started. And off we go. First thing we're going to do is pause the game so we can have a look around. So at the moment, yep, it looks just like a normal map, maybe. Uh, the, the rivers are a little bit thinner than uh, many generated maps. Let's zoom out, and you'll see here that this is uh, something a little bit different from what you'd normally see as a transport fever map. Obviously, I've created this myself. If you're interested in that process and how to create your own maps, please do watch episode zero. Uh, I think it's called Creating a Map. You can search for that and you can have a go at uh, following along and creating your own map. It's not too tricky, it is a little time consuming though. So let's have a look around, see what we've got. There's a reason that it's this manicured which will become apparent as we go through our playthrough. 
None of the towns have been named. Uh, we're using M for a megatropolis and then just a number. We've got some mountain ranges over the back here. A rather interesting uh, road here. I think we'll have a bit of fun with that at some point, sending trucks up and down and trying to upgrade that road. We've got a mountain range over here. The bottom half of the map is flatter, but not as flat as it looks. If we switch on our contours for a minute, you'll see even here, it's, uh, it's a little bumpy, which is always a good thing. So what am I doing with this rather strange map? The aim of this playthrough is going to be, can I get this whole inner circle, the four quads here of the inner circle, can I get that completely covered with cities? So I want these cities to grow and I want them to merge together and we're going to see if it's possible to completely fill this inner circle. Not only that, I'm going to try and do it by the year 2150. So those of you that uh, play Transport for either quite a lot, that's not a long time. It's, uh, it's not a short time, but it's not a long time either. Uh, so I'm hoping to progress through this game as quickly as possible and get to the modern era so that I can really start jazzing things up a bit. So there we have it. We've got our industry spread out across the four quads as well. And uh, we'll be getting to industry, but we're going to start off with passenger lines. Just a couple of passenger lines to get going and to get us making some money. So let's have a look what we've got here. We're going to start in this bottom quad. And I'm going to try and see how we can connect up our train stations to the residential areas so that I don't need to worry too much about routes to start with. So I'm going to have to put in a couple of extra roads, I think, uh, just to get things heading off in the right direction. We're going to pop a little corner there. And then we're going to hook up that. Not like that, because that doesn't look very good. Let's try like that. No, that doesn't look very good either. How can we get this? Let's uh, do that. And we'll try that again, shall we? On this side, it wasn't so great. That's, <laughs> that's not so good either. Thank you so much, Transport Fever, for making the start so simple. We're going to try like this. There we go. Okay, now we can pop our train station on the end here. We'll have a bit of room for the road as well. Let's take a quick look at M7. Same here. I think we're going to expand this out a little bit. I tend to like to put curves in my corners rather than hard corners if we can. Although, as you can see, that has its own challenges. Uh, the main reason is that it means that vehicles don't have to slow down when they're going around the corners as much as if it was a, a hard corner. Oh, this looks kind of interesting. We'll have a go at connecting up three here I think. So let's bring that out. Uh, bring this one out. We'll join that across there. And this one here. Some other aims. Um, I will try and make every line profitable. That's another aim for this walkthrough. So there we have it. Those are all connected up. Let's put in our stations. We're going to go for a curve station. We'll have two tracks. We'll stick with 160. And yes, we would like two road connections. So let's have a look. How am I going to put this in so that we can maximize the curvature that I've just put on? And we can also reach our residential. I think we're going to have to go on this end that we get that residential there. That's not going to fit. I think we might pull it out just a little bit. Let's have a look. It's getting closer. There we go. Our first station is in. Let's have a look over here. Next station going in. We'll keep the same settings. We're going to probably go up here a bit.
the trick is going to be covering as much as we can and still making sure that the curves are enough to connect up these stations and the last one is going to go here of course on this corner I think okay let's connect these up and there's our first one 276 that seems a lot to me I think we're gonna maybe do that in a couple of sections yeah <laughs> that's just that first bit that's causing the problem so if we take it from this side we're going with outside track we'll take that there somewhere I think yeah a little bit more so we can have a nice curve and we'll take that one into there outside track or inside track depending how you look at it that's still a very lot of money uh, let's bring it out here and we'll take that last bit there we go that's a bit cheaper doing it that way let's hook up to the next section we're going to come out here nice curve here would be good coming into here hopefully again very pricey so I think we'll do that in sections and there we go and for the last section we want a nice loop here but not too wide otherwise it will of course take the trains longer to get around 155 that sounds good that's not bad at all actually I think we'll take that let's just check I did put it on the right one no it's going to be this one we want and that's going to cost me a thousand more just to do that yep okay we'll take that boom we're in okay what's next let's uh, get some trains up so we can start looking at some of our new mods we're gonna put in a depot I like to put them just before stations so that a train can come out and uh, get straight into business as it were we'll take that onto here boom and we will have a look at our new train mods what do we got here so we've got the Stevenson a very early 1830 train that uh, was running to about 1860 we're gonna try that I think it's not very powerful it's not very fast so I'm not sure how long we'll be using it but let's give it a go for a little while we'll be working our way through some of these that we have time to along with this we can have our D1 slash 3 cars, I think. Um, I have these old ones here. But 25 miles an hour, this is 25 miles an hour, take 6, 4. I think this one, uh, 4 carriages maybe. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't think we can pull many more than that and get any decent uh, speed out of it. So... Let's start with four, but I'm going to set up, let's set up four of these ready to go. And let's put the first one on once we create the line. So we're going to go from here, M9, to here, which is M7, and then to M8. And there we have our line. Very simple, very easy. Let's name our line. This line is going to be called DC Loop. And that's your first clue to what we're up to so we have DC loop we have our first train ready to roll out so all I've got to do now is press start so let's go let's uh, pop down and see the train come out let's move some of this out the way here it comes the early Stevenson 
come around on this side where there's a bit more light. There we go. How's that? What a great little steam train. And let's hope that it doesn't rain too much on this map, otherwise he's going to be getting very wet. Okay, he's going to be heading into our station, so let's follow him along for a moment. Just out of the way a little bit. Switch that off. And he's doing a massive, let's have a look, 17 miles an hour coming into the station. Now, of course, I don't expect there to be anyone waiting quite yet. But it would be nice if there was. We are hooked up directly, so we don't need any um, stagecoaches or anything to get people to the station. But it is a bit early in the game. We're going to move that over there, because we're going to need that in a bit. Off he goes again. Not much at all going on around our town. Not many people. So, while that's uh, moving on a little bit, we'll get ready to send the next one out but while we're waiting we're going to have a little look again at our residential this one it's quite away from the station so i think we'll add in a bus route here or a coach coach route i guess we should say and let's pop in we obviously need one right by the station and we'll take one over here as well I think that's all we're going to do. And then over here, maybe we should uh, get the rest of this town connected up as well. So we'll pop one right by the station, and we'll have one. Let's go up here. And we'll be going back down here. So let's pop this one here. Okay, that's great. Let's pop out our second train. That should be ready to go out and we'll go down here what are we going to do here again yep we need to maybe pop a bus stop here we'll take one over here we're going to do a short route or a long route we'll do the long route so let's pop one over here as well that will help cover off most of the town let's pop in a depot and we keep our depots well away from our town i'm sure you do that as well one there, we're going to do the others as well while we're at it, I think. And we want bus depot, of course, bus. Boom. Let's pop a depot in over here somewhere. Where's the road? Is there a road? Nope, that's the end of the town. Okay, let's do it over this side then. We'll pop that in here. And one more over here. Let's pop that out of town as well. We'll go over here. Okay, great. Now we can get those on the go. And, of course, you've all been shouting at me for the last few minutes, haven't you? What have I forgotten to do? Yes, we need to, of course, get some signals on the go. Otherwise, my trains are never going to be moving around. Let's pop a signal. Signals on the right. That's a waypoint. Oh. Let's get rid of that. We want our signals. Signals, please. Where are you? Signals are, of course, under track. Signal. Thank you. Let's try this again. Right. Signals on the right. We're going to go anti-clockwise, as you've already noticed, around this track. We'll pop one there. One there. And let's whiz over here. And we'll get another one here by the station. And then we'll put some in between as well. But let's get those going first. Hopefully this train is on its way now. There he goes. He's off. So maybe let's put two in between. One here. One here. And we'll have one here. One here. And on the last run, we will have one here, one here. Okay, how's our train doing? Still no people at the stations, so that's okay. We will be soon, we hope. Uh, we'll just let it move on a little bit, and then I'll send out another train. 
Let's uh, rank it up a bit and we'll see what's going on. Anyone? Anyone for a train? Would anybody like a train? Would anyone like to go to another city? Oh, yes, somebody would. Here we go. We've got our first people. Person or people? Let's have a look. Oh, yep, people. We've got more than one, although this guy is very antisocial. As you can see, Ruben, you're being far too antisocial. Why are you standing right on the end of the platform? There's plenty of other places you can stand. It's fairly empty right now. Is it that you don't like your clone? Hey. Your twin brother over there? Is he not a friend of yours? Jackson? Jackson Jackson? <laughs> Jackson Jackson, go and meet Ruben. It could be a while before your train comes. Oh, look at this. There are people filling up all over the place. Excellent. And we haven't even put our route in yet. Let's do that. Buy vehicles. Okay, so what have we got here? So I told you about the repaint mod. So you can see we've got the European and the US stagecoaches. I think for towns we're going to use these ones. Let's pop in we'll have one of each type, I think. Okay? And we'll set that on a new line, which will go from here to here to here. And off they go. Let's have a little look. As they come into town, let's slow down a little bit. Let's have a look at these models. We'll just whiz around here so we can see them coming in. So we've got our greys there, very nice. All very prim and proper. And we've got our browns, which are the standard ones, and the blacks. I think the greys greys are the nicest but it's nice to have a bit of variety within our horses don't want any crossbreeding here do we so we should be able to get all kinds of horses from this set okay so they're off and they're heading around the town let's find the next town and we'll do the same here buy some horses buy buy and buy we'll take those three Set line, new line, and we'll go from here to here to here. And they're on their way. And next we will do the last town in this quad. And by road vehicles, we'll have the grey, the black. Oh no, we've run out of money. Time to visit the bank. Hi, Mr. Banker. Could I borrow some money, please? Yes, you may. Thank you. We don't want too much. I'm going to try not to max out my loans, but we'll see how we get along. We'll take three and a half million for the moment, please, sir. So, did we get any? No, we didn't. Let's uh, let's start with our greys, our blacks, and our browns. We'll have three of those set line on a new line. And we are going... Oh, this one's a bit shorter, so we're just going from here to here. And off they go. Now, hopefully, that will help with our station transport of getting people onto the line. We can maybe sneak out another train. Or am I too late? I think we can sneak out another train. Quick, 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 quick. Get out, quick, quick. And out he comes. We're going to speed it up just a tad, otherwise we'll never be progressing anywhere. Now, long distance view here. How many people have we got waiting in the station? A whole two! Wow! Oh, somebody else coming? You coming to the station? Clara, come on! Clara, the doctor's assistant. And there we go, and six people are on their way. Thank you for the sound effects. Okay, we've got one left to come out. I think we'll wait a little bit before we pull out the last one. So, our loop is in action. We've got a small transport system around each town. Let's have a quick look here. We're losing lots of money, unsurprisingly, at this stage, of course. Let's hope this year is a little better than it was last year. So, next, what are we going to do? Now, 
we're going to try and attach a couple more towns not to the loop but let's set up a line our inter city line you could say between this town and the town with the loop so we're gonna we're going to bring this across here like this to create a loop and then we're gonna put a couple of stations in stations possibly I mean bus stops would be a better word for it maybe one as you come out of the town or into the town then on this one let's uh, say we're gonna loop over here and then we'll come around here so that will come up here 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 and here we're also going to include this town so we want something as you come into the town Oop, not there don't get rid of that let's try that again shall we we'll have one here ah oh, is it that it doesn't want to let me put it here a bit of zooming in normally solves that problem there we go and then we're going to come up here one maybe towards the center of town one at the top end of the town and we'll come back down i think that'll do just nicely okay let's put a route in i think it's time we let this go don't you oops oh not that one we will send you out ah because i can't see the existing line so let's pop that over there for a second and we'll just reorientate ourselves back over here there we go set line dc loop okay that's on its way uh, there's a few more passengers in the uh, stations now so it shouldn't matter too much they're a little bit bunched up but that's okay it will space itself out now where was i we were adding a route we're going to add a route let's use line four and the route is going to let's say we're going to start here we're going to go around here around here back to here again and then into this town and we're going to go from here to here through the station and out to this town through here here and round here back to Kingstown back through this way I think we'll go and then we're going back across the bridge to Victoria that sounds good to me excellent that's quite a big route uh, a bit ambitious at this stage of the game uh, intercity route but we'll give it a try we've got a depot here somewhere where's my depot here it is so let's get a few horses on here and we'll use the stage coaches for this and we'll say buy one of those black one brown one gray one black one brown one gray one black one brown one gray one we'll start with nine shall we and we'll see how we get along with that so off we go let's take a quick look at our loop how's our loop doing good we're catching up a few more people that's interesting let's have a look here how many have we got in the station 14 in the station that's pretty good with room for another 15 by the looks of it so a few people will get off yep so we're still slightly under capacity but we're making progress let's uh, pop down and say hello again maybe not uh, first person quite yet let's go around here come around this side it's a nice model this isn't it the uh, early Stevenson the uh, smoke is slightly out of line 
But apart from that, it's uh, very nice. If we do it like this, there we go. You can't see that the smoke's out of the way. Very nice train. And let's see if we can see our passengers. Any passengers? There we go. There's a couple in the back there. Bye bye. And off they went. So, what's next? Let's see how we are getting on with our frequencies. Oh, 9 1, making a bit of profit there. A very small amount, but it is making profit. I've still got plenty in the bank. We've been running for two years. We've got a frequency of three minutes on the loop. Not too bad for these old steam trains. Uh, line one, 107 seconds. Line two, three minutes. That's a very slow line. Line two. Boom. That's this one. Ah. They do all seem to be bunched up. They've all been gossiping, that's why, I guess. Oh no, that's our intercity route. Heading out of the city there. And 42k just made there. 19 people on the train. Anyone getting on? Yep, we've got one on there. And off it goes again. So, we're going to get some more passenger routes set up. That's the, the next plan here. And we will... Uh, then expand out across the map. We'll be obviously bringing some freight in and I'm sure you know which kind of freight I'll be starting with. Uh, yes, of course, it's going to be the oil and fuel. Uh, that always helps boost the profits at the start of the game. So let's have a quick look at where our intercity loop is going. Sorry, not loop, our intercity transport is going it's going to be slow on these horses as you can see but we have got people waiting already isn't that great look at that well i guess you'd wait as well right if you're in a town where there's no way out of the town you'd be waiting for a stagecoach as well there's quite a lot of people waiting nine people waiting there ten people waiting excellent let's uh should we speed it up a little bit so we can see our coaches come in I think there were some very nearby there they come shall we uh, let's jump on board shall we are there black horses I do like looking at these uh, towns in first person I think they, the graphics are just uh, just amazing they've done such a great job with uh, the models in these games so here we go through what seems to be a bit of an industrial centre of the town there. Heading for Queensway at a massive 10 miles an hour. Maybe we should speed this up slightly. I uh, did want to just have a good look round as well. Don't even the, the coils there. The detail is, is fantastic in this, uh, this first person view. There should be a bus stop coming up fairly soon. Let's take a quick look at it. There he goes. No people. And where are you heading? Let's pop my lions on. There we go. Wow, look at all these people waiting. They are all going to be... Let's jump back on. Very pleased to see the first set of horses come around the corner past the hardware shop and uh, we have room for four I believe <laughs> room for four and the rest of you are just going to have to wait I'm very sorry about that let's jump out yep four we can fit on and off we go Yes, you can put your hand on your hips, I, I understand completely, yes. I, I apologise about the uh, slowness of, of the transport system at this stage of the game. And here comes another one. I think there's another one behind this as well. So, we should be able to take a few of you, but maybe not too many. And there go another four. Is there another one coming behind that? 
Maybe, maybe not. Come on, you can go. You're full up. Get out of here. You, go. Don't you cross your legs at me. Why are you waiting? Oh, it does help if the passengers close the door. Madam, you should have closed the door a bit quicker there and we could have been on our way. Okay, so that one's off as well. So, there we go. This is uh, the end of our first episode of Megatropolis. Remember, our aim is we're going to fill this completely with roads from these cities. And we're going to combine the cities all together to make one Megatropolis. If you'd like this episode, please do subscribe. Uh, if there's things you would like to see or, or suggestions for me, please do leave a comment and let me know. And I will read every comment and we'll see where we're going to take it from there. Thanks very much. I've been Sparky. You've been great. See you next time.